All right, now it is time to make your own paintbrushes, and then you can paint on the paper that you just made. So here's our paintbrush kit. All you will need for this first one is a duck feather and a toothpick that's in your kit and some scissors. So examine your feather. You see there is a quill at the end of the shaft and the barbs are the actual feathers coming off of it. Now you're gonna wanna cut it where it stops being hollow, where the shaft starts to have a body to it and it isn't hollow anymore. Now take that part, that hollow part, and make sure there is a hole at the bottom. If it looks like it'll be too small, just clip off a very tiny part to make a hole. Make sure that you're not breaking the shaft. You can use a toothpick to further hollow it out. There you go. Now you're going to make the bristle. Choose which part of the barbs you want to keep, and you're going to rip off the other part. So hold the head and gently rip off the barbs you don't want. There you go. All you're trying to leave is the barbs that you plan on using for your bristle. Do the other side. Keep moving your hand down so you can secure the shaft as you tear off the barbs. And there you go. Now what we're gonna do is take those bristles and we are going to put it into the hole that you just made on your handle. Now you might find that the bristle is too big, so you might have to tailor that down a little bit. And it might still be too big. You might have to finagle a little bit, hollow it out a little bit more, but it will eventually fit in there. And look at that, you have made a paintbrush out of just a feather, handle and all. Fabulous. Now for paintbrush number two, you're going to use a reed and the other feather, a pheasant feather, so one that looks like it has tiger stripes. Now you're going to want to select your thinnest reed for this because that feather is a lot thinner than the tape wrapped around the horsehair, which will be for your next brush. You can also get out your materials to make your fair rule, which is what holds the bristles to the handle. So get out a piece of leather and that string. You have some extra material so you can make some more paint brushes if you want. All right, so what you're gonna do with that pheasant feather is the same process you did for the duck feather. So you're going to select what you want for your bristles and then you're going to take off the rest of the barbs, just like so. Then you're going to see how that bristle is going to fit into your handle. You see those sections of the reed, you might not be able to hollow those out. So you might want to cut down that shaft that is on your bristle. See, here I am not being able to hollow it out any further with the toothpicks, which is just fine. So I will cut the bristle. And once you have it to a proper length and you can get it in there, you might have to try a few times. Perfect. But of course that would move around a lot while we're painting, right? So we have to make a fair rule. And we're going to use that piece of leather and you might wanna prepare a piece of masking tape, which you should have from our previous weeks. And I'm going to tightly wrap that piece of leather around the end of the handle. And you'll notice that I have some of that leather hanging off of the handle. That is where we will be wrapping the thread, which should secure the bristle to the handle. But before I do that, it is easier if you secure it with some tape first. Then you wanna get a piece of string and you're gonna be wrapping that around the leather past the handle. Now leave some out because you're going to want to tie it after you're done wrapping. Try to keep pressure on the cord this entire time so that it doesn't unravel itself. Hopefully this waxed cotton cord is a little easier to work with. It'll hold its shape as you're working. And then you're gonna to wanna to tie it a few times after you've wrapped it to secure it. Just a few simple knots. Make sure that you tie them tight and then you can snip off the excess and remove that masking tape. There you go. Now we are going to make a paintbrush out of reed and horsehair. So you'll take another reed 
and you'll take your bundle of horsehair. If you find that the bundle is too thin to fit into your reed, it won't stay in there. You can wrap some more masking tape around the end there. And then just keep it in there. You don't need to trim it yet. You can trim it after you make your fair rule. And you're going to use the same process that you did for the reed and pheasant feather brush. So you take that tape to secure it. And then you'll take a piece of string and wrap it around there, making sure that you leave some extra string to make your knots at the end. And after the ferrule is like how you want it, then you can start to trim that horse hair and start to get a bristle shape that you like. You can try cutting it at an angle. You can try to make a nice fan brush. And then you'll be able to try all of these different paint brushes that you have made for your own Stone Age painting. And if you take a look at your activity kit, you can find more ideas to make even more natural paintbrushes. Have fun!